والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد In the name of Allah, and the salutation be upon his last and final messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Welcome back again, and I'm Omar Jamaiki, and we've been discussing affairs that weakens one iman. As we have discussed and pointed out certain factors that can assist in the increase of one's iman. So now it's important to discuss some affairs that does affect one's iman in a negative way. And of the things that affects one's iman in a negative way, is the person not fulfilling acts of worship correctly. So, and the person with this one, compared to the one before, where the person he does not do an act of worship, but you might find that sometimes a person may fulfill an act, but it is not fulfilled in the proper manner. So the Muslim have to ensure that what he fulfills in any aspect of Islam, it is done in a proper manner as outlined by Islam without one adding anything or trying to remove anything from that act. So if one prays, make the salah, one make the salah in a way outlined by Islam. One do not seek to add anything that the Prophet, peace be upon him, did not add, nor should one seek to remove something that was not, that we do not need to remove, but stick to everything as outlined and taught by the Messenger, peace be upon him. So the person not fulfilling something properly, it can affect his iman. As he does not reap the full benefit of that act. He does not free, repeat, uh, gain the full reward attached to that act and becomes deficient. And the Muslim is the one who seeks perf uh, perfection in the things that he carries out. Ensuring that his act is according to the Quran and the Sunnah as outlined in both these two texts. So the Muslim have to ensure that his worship it is done as precise as possible without deficiency. And this shows that a person who fulfills this act with preciseness, it shows the person of a great concern for what he's doing. And it shows that a person, Iman, it can uh, increase through this where a person is concerned regarding his action being done in the correct manner. As for the person who does the act without paying much attention to the act being fulfilled correctly, this is a sign of weak iman. That a person is not in tune with his Lord in the manner that he should. So he fulfilled this act in a way of negligence. And this sometimes is a sign of the hypocrite. That they do things out of negligence. They do things out of not understanding what is to be done correctly. And we have found that in the Quran they have mentioned Concerning the first chapter, that those people have gone astray. That Allah mentioned, that they are those whom Allah is displeased with them and anger with them. And the Prophet, he mentioned these people, they are the Jew. As they knew the text of revelation, but they did not act upon it, so they were cursed. And also it is mentioned, that those who went astray, that they are the people of the book, who are the Christians, whom they worshipped, but based upon ignorance. They worship not knowing the proper way as to how to fulfill that act. So they went astray. So the person who wished to worship Allah have to maintain that his worship is carried out correctly. He has the proper understanding and also this act is manifest properly as outlined by Islam without him adding or removing anything from this. So these are the things that one has to be very careful of regarding things that may affect one Iman in a negative manner, in a negative way. Thing that is done without being precise. As this may cause harm to the individual and harm maybe to others. So the sign of weakness of Iman and it can affect a person's Iman in a negative way is doing things improperly. Doing things out of order. Not in the proper order. So the person who is praying, but he's praying at a time that he chooses, he's doing the act 
out of its proper time. Or a person is praying and he is not keen concerning the way to pray correctly. So you might find this person, he just making movements. That may not gain him the reward that he's seeking. And it shows this person that he's very lax as to how he worship Allah. As Allah have taught his prophet a particular, a, pre- a precise way as to how he Allah wish for this act to be fulfilled. And now this servant is not carrying out this act in its proper way. So the Muslim, uh, the servant have to ensure that the worship that is being ful- uh, fulfilled, it is done precisely and properly. And if it is not, then it becomes a sign of hypocrisy. As Allah have mentioned in his book, that the hypocrites, that they pray out of laziness. They do not pray the proper way. They pray in a manner which is not in accordance to the way the Prophet had taught. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us that you should pray as I have prayed. So the Muslim have to ensure that his salat, his prayer, it resembles the prayer of the Prophet. That when one pray, he pray as the Prophet prayed. The same way that the Prophet pray. As this is a sign of this person's iman being strong. And the person does not pray as the Prophet pray, then it shows that the person's iman is weak. He is not concerned regarding his obedience to Allah and also his obedience to the Messenger. And it shows that the person is more inclined towards his own obedience following of his own desire. It shows the person is not submissive to Allah and to his Messenger. So he goes about implementing that act in the manner that suits him. So the Muslim have to be careful of this. That whatever we are prescribed by Allah, if it is to be fulfilled in a particular way, a specific way, then we have to ensure that it is done as we have been taught, without adding nor subtracting anything from this. An example, a person perform Hajj at a, at a particular time of the year, at a particular city, doing doing this act in a particular manner and order. If the person choose to go at a different country, a different place to carry this act, at, any, at, at, at his time, and also he does what he desires, then this shows that a person is not a true worshiper of Allah. And it shows a weakness of the person, Iman, where Hajj, pilgrimage, is to be done at a particular time of the year, in a particular place, in a particular manner. And if a person does Hajj, or what he deems as Hajj, in a, different, in a particular place, at his time, in the form that he of outline, then this is not what is expected from the Muslim. As this, it shows contradiction in the person's Iman. It shows a weakness in a person's iman as he's not in truth following the Prophet, peace be upon him. So in looking at one's iman <clears throat> and the thing that affects it in a negative way is ensuring that one does not fulfill acts of worship and practice of Islam outside without it being done correctly. So the Muslim have to ensure this either by asking others who can give direction those who are qualified or by the person reading correct books, reading the tradition of the Prophet regarding how he did of this act and the person carried out this act as the Prophet peace be upon him has taught us. And this he has shown in many aspects of his life regarding Salat. He told the Muslim and taught the Muslim pray as you have seen me pray. Regarding Hajj, he says, take the example of my Hajj. And in his conduct, he have told a Muslim that the best of you are the best of you in conduct, and I'm the best of you in conduct. So these are things that affects one Iman in a negative way, doing things not in the proper way. And at this point, we come to an end to yet another program, and stay with us for following programs regarding affairs that weakens one's iman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.